WatchHollywood.tv. I'm Mel England, and uh, we're excited today to be having an opportunity to come back and talk a little bit more with Diane Anderson Mitchell and Jacob Anderson Mitchell. They are a married couple, as happily married, and uh, they've written a book which is actually really exciting and a topic that's so like on the cusp of everybody's lips right now which is about your marriage. It's called Queerly Beloved. Help me with the subtitle. A Love Story Across Genders. A Love Story Across Genders. And so, uh, well, why don't you guys tell me? Tell me a little bit about the book. Sure. Um, the, uh, well, Jake and I have been married 25 years now. Congratulations. And uh, about 16 years into our marriage, we got married. Uh, we were like 22, so it was still domestic partnership back then. We didn't have uh, marriage equality across the land at that point. But, um, and we were at that time both little lesbians. So the first 16 years of our marriage, we were a lesbian couple. And then uh, after some therapy and after some other stuff, Jake came out as a transgender man. And our, uh, so that was 16 years into our marriage, and Jacob transitioned, and uh, that was almost a decade ago. And the book really goes into, it kind of starts there, at the point where Jacob is figuring out uh, what this means for him, and uh, talking with me about it, and the journey that we went on to... Be, uh, to you know to sort of fight for our relationship and to allow our relationship to transition and to allow both of us to transition in in this way that um, you know it really you know sort of it's the telling of our love story yeah. and how it evolved in, yeah and, it's and really surprising I think way. Um, one of those things that was really important for us about writing this was that when I first came out we were watching, we were like getting every film and every, you know, TV show that was about trans and people and trying to just learn more. And almost every story of the trans man would be like, he would do, start out, you know, in a, as a couple and then end up with that person alone walking away. And it just, you know, was so depressing and sort of made you feel like, well, can you even make it? Can you even survive this as a couple? Mm -hmm. So, you know, we really wanted from the start to have more visibility for couples who have gone through transition and have, you know, continued to stay together. And that's really why, one of the reasons why we felt like it's so important to tell a story. Sure. Now, and that's the, I mean, that, that's just what I'm so fascinated by is the fact that you guys, I don't know if it, how unique you are, but certainly at least in the stories that we hear about, mm -hmm. you know, it, it, it does seem unique. Yeah. What, how, I mean, and the book is something that's written like after you went through that process of it deciding is. to stay we, together. So what was that like for you to, for you specifically, Jacob, to, to be on the precipice of that and mm -hmm. see that? And then were, you were obviously, were you afraid that Diane okay. would reject you or that the relationship wouldn't survive? Yeah, absolutely. I was terrified. I mean, I was terrified and, you know, I even... At the very beginning, I said, well, you know, it was really important for me to come out and say, I feel like this is who I am. But at that moment, I wasn't sure if I couldn't just th be done with that, just say that, and that th that might not be enough, you know. I, And I especially wasn't willing to risk losing Diane at that point. And, you know, Diane really, she's a, the kind of person who sol wants to solve problems and you know, you can't just say something like, I'm really a man, and not go somewhere with that for her, you know. So she really, in the beginning, sort of fueled things for my transition. Like, I probably would have, you know, slowed everything down a lot more. But I'm so thrilled that I didn't have to. And, again, she's, you know, for me, she's just a remarkable person. I'm amazed that the statistics are what they are. There is something like 30% of couples that actually do make it, which is, to me, amazing wow. that that many. But... Uh, that also means 70% of couples don't. So. And what was that like for you, Diane? I mean, obviously, you guys were already together and committed and together, but, like, for example, I'm just thinking of one friend of mine who, well, she, for the purpose of this, she'll go remain nameless, <laughs> but I was even talking about her earlier to, uh, with you guys in the mm -hmm. green room, um, that when she went through the transition, actually, the he to the she, um, that there was a whole community of people that actually 
didn't accept her mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the friendships that went by the wayside and so I mean uh, I guess how do I say this it wouldn't be so weird for you to wake up and say wait this isn't the person I married this isn't what I you know mm -hmm. I'm a lesbian I want to be with a woman or whatever mm -hmm, not a man mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so what was that like for you I think that um, you know I mean we certainly had um, a lot of people tell us that it wasn't gonna work out I, I don't know why, but I had a lot of people tell me that um, that Jacob was going to be gay now. Right. Because um, a lot of people who, you know, I understand that there are some uh, FTMs who do come out and then who do decide uh, to explore their sexual orientation. Um, but a lot of people just don't understand gender identity is different from sexual orientation. So we had a lot of that, though. I did have a lot of, you know, some a, a good uh, number of people who, who did think that it wasn't going to work out. And, um, but I think that, you know, for me, uh, it was really important to work through it. It was really important to get Jacob in therapy right away. It was important for me to, to be in therapy. Yeah. Um, you know, just to have somebody I could talk with who didn't have a stake in the whole matter. Mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, your friends, they have a stake. They want to protect you and, and your family's all got their opinion. And so I think though that, um, there were some really tough times in that first year. I definitely did, you know, a, a little bit of crying there. And um, but I think that I always just recognize that that um, that this is the same person inside, even as even as he was going through these really annoying changes in some cases, because testosterone does a lot of really annoying things to you. Wow. So um, tell me about it. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, it's. It, I mean, what it was is like testosterone in for for women who are transitioning. Of course, they have right. estrogen. But testosterone is like flooding your body. It's mm. making you go through puberty. Mm -hmm. So if you imagine, you know, who wants to be around a 14-year-old boy, right? right? right. Uh, besides other 14-year-old boys. Mm. So it's like, you know, so it's doing, you know, those kinds of things and, um, and all these changes. And also transitioning is, is sort of, um, uh, you know, itself is, is sort of, it needs to be sort of a selfish act in that, and I right. don't mean that in a bad way. I right. mean that, like... It's your time to like come out into your own and discover who you are, mm -hmm. and so you have to sort of necessarily be attuned to what's happening with you. Right. And you can't necessarily be sort of involved with what's happening in the rest of the world at that time. Right. So everybody else kind of has to fend for themselves a little bit more, you mm -hmm. know. And so I think that that there's you know little elements of that uh, that may have been uncomfortable, but again, I think that once we went through those, that. Um, that again, that I, I was able to just continue to see that this is the, the person that I fell in love with, that we've both, in, you know, 25 years of marriage at this point, we've both gone through so many different transitions right. that um, this, was, this was one of them. And yes, people think it's a really big one because it seems really big, but it was just one of our transitions.